Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 76 of your Bucket Plugin Tutorial. Today we've been looking at inventory GUIs, so things that you see on sort of like um, mini game servers and all those fancy things where they have their little press a button, you can hop around to different places in the mini game server and get to different places faster. So we're going to be doing the exact same thing. So you right click a compass and then it opens a GUI and you can select which server you want to go to. Uh, due to high popular request <laughs> again, so I guess we'll get into it Make sure that your class extends Java plugin and implements listener Make sure you're obviously running the uh, crap bucket and bucket builds of whatever the latest one is uh, So we're just gonna make a on enable so public word on enable and then in on enable We're going to get the server and get the plugin manager and Register the events for your listener class and then using your plugin class Okay, so what we want to do, first of all, is we're going to want to make two just little methods that we're going to use throughout this. So the first one is going to be teleport in world, and then the player, and then an int x, int x, int x, int y, and int z. Uh, the reason I do this is because instead of having to type, oh, and this this is um, yeah, avoid. Make sure you import player from org to bucket .int player. So the reason I do this is because when you teleport players, you have to do player.teleport and then new location or whatever. So this is just a method which sort of cleans it up a bit. Uh, so player.teleport and then new location. And the world, we just want to be the player's world. That's why it's teleport in world. So player.getWorld and then x, y, and z. Like so. <clears throat> and we're going to make another thingy. And it's going to be a private void. And actually, this one up here may as well be private, since I'm not using another class. Uh, um, this is going to be open GUI. Now, this, in, in the parameters, take player. This opens up the inventory that the player is going to see after they click their compass. So, first of all, we have to actually make the inventory. So, we type inventory, and then IMV, I'm just going to call it. And it's going to equal to bucket.create inventory. Now, the inventory hold is null, which means that it's just a basically like an isolated inventory. Um, and we want it to have. Uh, the slot number has to have it has to be divisible by nine, and nine is one row. And seeing as we don't really, we're well, only doing like two things, two server slots for this example. Um, I'm just going to set it as nine. <clears throat> Obviously, if you want more server slots, then you can, you know, go ahead, do whatever you want. But it has to be divisible by nine. And then we got the name, so we can put, so I'm just going to put chat color dot. Uh, let's go for dark green, dark green, and then we'll call it server selector selector like so so that's that's going to make our inventory make sure you import inventory from org to bucket inventory dot inventory so now we're going to make a few item stacks uh so item stack and we're going to call this like survival so it's going to be a survival server item and it's going to be equal to a new item stack and in the parameters we're going to have like a diamond chest plate so material dot diamond make sure you import Material from the right place. Material. Diamond. Just plate. Like so. And then import item stack from all to bucket. Item stack. <laughs> and then we want to make item. We want to make metadata for this uh, item. So items. Item meta equals survival or survival. Survival meta equals survival. Dot get item meta import that and then just copy this down like however many times that you want dip more items more servers so i'm just going to do survival and creative because why not so creative is going to be a grass block so these are going to be the blocks that show up in your in your inventory when you click the uh, compass button so now we're just going to fiddle around with the the meta a bit and this needs to be creative Okay, I admit. So we're gonna fiddle around with the the metadata a little bit. So just type um, survival meta, and we're going to set the display name to chat color dot dark red plus survival, like so. So that's our survival server, and then we want to apply this metadata to the survival item stack. So survival dot set item meta as the survival meta, and then we're just gonna do this again. So creative meta. Dot set display name and then like chat color dot just green I guess chat color dot green and then creative like so obviously this can be whatever you want 
and then we need to set that apply that so creative dot set item meta to creative meta so that's going to make our item stacks for us now we want to actually put these item stacks into the inventory so just so if there's nine slots if we look at it this way if we just type this out so like one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have these slots okay and obviously it starts at zero in bucket so if we go like if we actually just put like eight so so it goes zero one two three four five six seven eight if we sort of like remove three from this side then remove three from this side and then this side and this side four is actually going to be the center one so we want it to be three and five because we have two we want them to be sort of like centered so we can say inventory dot set item the third item to be survival and they copy that down and set the fifth item which is the other side the middle to be creative so it, it's all good that we actually have now this inventory with our blocks and stuff in but how do we op like open it <laughs> and so to open it we just type player dot open inventory and then inventory or whatever we named our inventory i named it inv so that's going to show the inventory to the player so now we have that and when are we going to use this we're going to use it when the player right clicks a compass so we're going to make it our event handler and then a public void on player interact so we want it when they click interact i can spell that and then player interact event event okay so now there's different types of interaction there's there's clicking with things and there's clicking like pressing pressure plates and stuff like that so we want to check first of all what type of action it is um and so to do this we should make a, a couple variables so action action a equals the action so event get action and we want the item that they're holding as well an import action from org .bucket .event .block action. and now we want the item that the player is going to be holding uh, so item item stack is equals event dot get item like so okay so now we want to we want to make a check so we want to check uh, if the action or if a is equal to action dot physical so if it's a physical action or the item so item stack that they have is equal to null or the item stack the item stacks type is equal to air so material dot air so if, if either of these things happen, so if, if it's a physical action, so they step on a pressure plate or a trip wire, or the item is null, or the item is equal to air, we're just going to return out of this. So we don't want to do anything. We want this is bad. This is bad. This We don't want this to happen. We don't want to run the method if these things are true. So otherwise, if this is true, then if the item stacks type is a compass, so material dot compass, then we're going to open the GUI to the player. And then we can just say event to get the player, like so. So that is our interact method. Now, obviously, we might also want to make a method like so. So when the player joins, they get given a compass. So I have a have public void on player join, and then make a player join event and event like so. And now we can type uh, event dot get player dot get inventory dot add item new item stack material dot compass like so. So we're giving them a compass when they join okay now finally a final method is going to be when they click in the inventory uh, and, and what they're they're clicking and what it's what it's gonna do and obviously we're just teleporting them them to places so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna make another uh, listener so public void actually we need the event handler I guess so I have handler. Then we public void on inventory click and then inventory click event event Inventory click event event like so, and this is when they click in an inventory. It doesn't matter what inventory; it could be like their player inventory or a furnace or whatever. Uh, it's when they click in an inventory. So we want to first of all check if the inventory they're clicking in is the one we made up here, which was called server selector. So check dot green, and then server selector. So the way we check this is we're going to check if. Now we want to get rid of the chat colors, and the way we do this, we type chat color dot strip color. So it's, that's going to get rid of all the color that we put in here. So we're going to get the inventory. So event .get inventory .get name. So if that's name, and then if we just type dot equals ignore case. So if this inventory name equals server selector or whatever you called it, and we want to invert this. So if it doesn't equal that, then we're just going to again return out this method because we don't we don't want 
that we want the inventory to be this. If it isn't that, then don't do anything. Um, so now we're just going to get the player who clicked it. And it's going to be a player because we know it's this inventory and only players can open this inventory. So player player equals and then cast it to player and then event dot get who clicked. Now we're going to cancel the event. Event dot set cancel true. So we don't want, so if they click an item, we don't want them to actually pick it up. So it's going to cancel the event. And we're going to check if the item that they clicked, so event dot get current item, that there they've, they've clicked, if this item is equal to null, um, or the event dot get current item dot get type is equal to material dot air. So we're checking if the item they've clicked is equal to null or if it's equal to air. So basically what we're doing down here with uh, the item stack when they're clicking. Um, or, and then invert this, so event dot get current item dot has item meta. So if it doesn't have any item meta because we are setting our items up here to have meta, so it has to have some item meta, then we're just going to close the inventory. So play dot close inventory and return. So we don't want to go any further again. We want to cancel out of this again. We're going to close the inventory and return because they've clicked some form of invalid item uh, like so. Um, so next we were going to switch and switch is where you, it's like an if statement, but easier. I've done tutorials on this before. So we're going to switch through uh, the current item. So event dot get current item dot get type. So this is going to check what the current type is. And you're going to get a warning because there's like all of these things down here, which it wants to check. And we haven't checked them all. Uh, which we're going to handle in a minute. So currently, we only have two items in our inventory, which is diamond chestplate and grass. So we're going to check first of all if um, it's diamond, diamond chest, chest plate. So diamond chestplate. If it's diamond chestplate, and then you put a colon, we're going to teleport in world. Tell I think I type I can't type. So teleport in world the player to some random coordinates. So like fifty. Or 0, 50, 0. That's what we're going to do. We're going to teleport them there. So it's going to teleport them in the world to those coordinates. Obviously, you will have your coordinates where you want to teleport them to. We're then going to close their inventory. So they don't have that inventory box open anymore. And we're going to send them a message. Uh, and the way I'm going to type this is I'm going to type string.format. Because I'll explain this in a minute. So string.format. And then we're going to type percent %s. And then teleported to. And then percent %s. Uh, survival percent s exclamation mark and um, what string the format does is means you where it will replace percent s or percent d or whatever you do with whatever we put after so the first percent s is going to be replaced with chat color dot gold and then we put a comma and the second percent s is going to be changed replaced with chat color dot uh, dark red and the next percent s is going to be changed with chat color dot gold again like so if I put like percent %d, then it would expect like a decimal, but s is for string. Uh, you could do a lot of stuff with percent %s. So anyway, now we're going to break out of that. So we've done that, and we're going to break out of the switch statement because we have found what the, tur the, the item is. So now we're going to uh, do the same, but for grass. So actually, we're just going to copy this here and paste it down here. And instead of diamond chest plate, it's going to be grass. And instead of like 0, 50, 0, we're going to put 20, 50, 20. And obviously this is all the same, but instead of survival, we're going to type creative. And instead of it being dark red, we're going to type dark green. I think that was the color we used. No, it was just green. So green. And again, obviously we're going to break. Now finally, we're going to add a default option. So default, and this means if it isn't one of these two, then we're just going to close their inventory. And we're going to break because they obviously again selected some kind of invalid item. And we don't want to have to, to deal with that uh, because our plugin is obviously broken somehow. Um, <laughs> but this this should never actually happen because we're not clicking. If we're clicking inside of this this inventory, there's only ever going to be two items in it. So in our plugin.yml, all we need is our main, our version, and our name. Obviously, you can add this other stuff if <coughs> oh god, <laughs> if you want to. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to export this and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so I'm in the game and I got given this compass because that was in our on player join method. So when I click with the compass, it's going to open up this thing. It says server selector and I have a survival button and I have a creative button. And now if I click survival, 
it's going to teleport me to survival where I made a little it teleport me on the ground. Uh, and if I actually look at my coordinates, when I press F3, I'm at 0, 050. 0. And if I click the creative one, I'm at 20, 50, 20. So this plugin actually works fine. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. And obviously, it's sending me the messages in chat. Double it's creative, double it's creative, creative, and to survival. So yeah, obviously if I click anywhere that isn't these, it's air, and so it's going to cancel me out. If I click in my inventory, it's also going to cancel me out because I'm clicking uh, invalid items. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, actually, one thing I also want to clarify is say I had a grass block in my inventory and I clicked the grass block, it wouldn't teleport me to creative because we are this, this has item meta and we checked before if they had item meta or not then this one doesn't so it's not going to teleport me there all right cool thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time